<laughs> All right, uh, this afternoon at 4.30, right after uh, Say Yes to Life, our own Bishop Daniel E. Thomas uh, really conducts another session with Ron Miller on Bishop's Corner. And here's a highlight question from that show that you will hear in its entirety, along with uh, several other questions this afternoon. Are you going to go to Marianne? Marianne and social media. Hi, Marianne. Yes. Thanks uh, for writing. She says, Dear Bishop Thomas, the Eucharistic Revival has been such a gift for people rediscovering their love for Jesus in the Eucharist. I recently went to a very well-attended viewing of Jesus' thirst, the miracle of the Eucharist. What have you witnessed across our diocese since the revival began? Thanks, Marianne. So thanks, Marianne. And just to share, uh, you, it, I'm delighted that you went to a viewing of Jesus Thirsts, the miracle of the Eucharist. I didn't get an opportunity to see it myself, but I too, Marianne, know folks who have seen it and they were very edified by it. Marianne, you not, may not be aware that I appeared in the movie. Now, I didn't get the royalties for it, Marianne, because apparently it's done like a documentary and there is some moment where I don't know what they were at. There were a group of bishops. And there I was. So someone told me they turned to the person next to them to say, there's Bishop Thomas. And when they turned back, it was a blip. It was just a second and I was gone. So I guess, Marianne, my claim for fame is fleeting. But how I'm delighted that I was in the movie to support our Lord in the Eucharist and to indicate that the Eucharistic revival has, in fact, caught on. And you say, what have you witnessed around our diocese since the revival began? Just what you did, Marianne, an increased interest of people in the Eucharist, hungry for the Lord, hungry to be more inspired by going to things like that movie. And I've seen children. Remember, we had that uh, diocesan wide contest. What does the Eucharist mean to me? We had those seven Eucharistic events at parishes during the diocesan time where churches were packed with people coming to the adoration the hour and a half long adoration and praise of our Lord in the Eucharist. And Marianne, people came up to me and said, I've never been to adoration before. I know people have said to me, I never went to daily mass before, but now I'm going to daily mass. I've had people say to me, I've brought with me somebody in my neighborhood who was not Catholic to mass and they're evangelizing. You know, the theme of going out on mission right now for the Eucharistic revival is, and I, please pardon me, I may not get the words correctly, but it's something like bring just one. So it's a beautiful thing in this time of mission. Just bring one person. Maybe it's a Catholic who, you know, is for one reason or another fallen away from the practice of the faith from going to mass on Sunday. Just bring one. Imagine if every Catholic in our diocese or in the United States just brought one person back to the Eucharist. Imagine that evangelization effort. What a blessing that would be. So these are some of the things I've seen and some of the things I would encourage, Marianne. And I do believe that it's it's a revival that's both happening and just waiting to happen. All right. Thank, Thank you, Bishop. You. Thanks for that question, Marianne. Yeah, that's a great question. And, uh, of course, more questions are uh, all set for this afternoon's Bishop's Corner. Hopefully you're going to stay tuned for that.